Alright, now we're going to do uh, the Then Now Forever Elite Sami Zayn. So, right here it says, International superstar Sami Zayn was born in Canada of Syrian descent and competed in 29 countries before making his debut in the WWE in 2013. In December 2014, well over a year since he had joined the NXT roster, Zayn defeated Neville to win the NXT Championship. At WrestleMania 32, the underdog from the underground competed against a number of the best superstars in the company in a ladder match. Alright, he comes with the hat and the uh, Sami Zayn and the Zaniac shirt. Um, you know, the, it's kind of a brownish-greenish color, um, kind of dull. Uh, Sami Zayn's got kind of a Regular head scan, you know, nothing too excited, you know. I mean, he's a little happy, but, you know, he's holding it back a bit. And I'm trying to take this t-shirt off with one hand. I, I had already actually un the back before I shot this part. Um, and as you can see here, he's got some chest hair, but not a crazy amount like the Elite 40 figure. Which, um, even Sammy joked that he looks like he had Georgie Animal Steel's torso. It's got black elbow pads, white wristbands. Um, yeah, but his face skin uh, doesn't. It, it kind of looks a little more like Yukon Cornelius. Uh, that's an Enzo and Cast joke that they said on Ride Along about Sami Zayn's figure, saying it looked like Yukon Cornelius from uh, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Uh, he's got some writing here on the side. He's got some checkers, uh, checkered on the left side with some red trim on the side. Black and white checker, and it goes all the way down. It goes even on the knee pad. And on the back here, he's got this little logo here. And then he's got the Sami Zayn logo right there. And a plain black knee pad for the right knee pad. Um, the boots are black and white, as you can see. And he's got red socks with white stripes that you can see, which was a really nice touch. Um, I give this figure the green light. Definitely go get it. I actually like this figure a lot better than the Elite 40. I have the Elite 40, I love the figure, but this one is just so much better. The only thing I would subtract from this figure are the elbow pads. Because it just looks kind of silly. To me, it does. I mean, he doesn't wear elbow pads lately, so I'm just going to take them off. I mean, if he wears elbow pads again, I'll throw them back on. But in the meantime, I'm not even going to bother. It'll give him more of that main event look, too. There you go. There, perfect. And next, we're going to do the Elite 20 Cody Rhodes. Now, this is a figure I have loved for a long time. Uh, I didn't get it till recently, this month. I've, re I've always wanted it, though. I, I can never find it. Uh, so, yeah, here's his height and his weight, his career highlights. Uh... Cody Rhodes makes a pretty good case that superstardom just may be a genetic trait. The son of WWE Hall of Famer, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, has made his own name in the ring, proving that he's a force to be reckoned with. With a wealth of talent and a superior bloodline, Cody is destined, or perhaps predestined, for greatness. Which is kind of funny, because they wouldn't let him be Cody Rhodes after Dusty Rhodes passed away. They wanted him to continue being Stardust, which is why he asked for his release. Which is a shame. I thought I actually enjoyed the Stardust character, but I could see why he wanted to go back to Cody Rhodes. I mean, he just lost his dad, and, you know, it, it would have been nice to be able to be a tribute, but I think Dusty would have wanted Cody to just keep the show going. You know, the show must go on. And Cody really did do great as Stardust. Uh, awesome character. I actually loved it, because, you know, I'm a big comic book guy, so... I, I actually got a. I actually enjoyed the character a lot. Uh, let me. So he's got this really cool vest. It's like a long vest. Uh, what do they call it here? They call it a coat. So you can see here, it's got a molded hood. It's got the CR logos with like the arrows and. Almost like a military badge, kind of. It's all red and white with some black. And then you get to the figure here. He's got kind of a happy head scan. Um, he's got a taped up right hand. He's got the red, white, black attire that goes with this. He's got white knee pads. 
uh, white boots with a bird on the right boot, the red and white boots. Um, really cool figure. Now this one, I can't move his left le leg um, to the side like this. This is the right leg. I mean, I can, but I gotta kind of put it back in place, and it's really ugly. So I don't know if I'll be playing with this one. Um, it's just a shame because I really like this figure a lot, and I wanted to use this as my Cody Rhodes, but I'm gonna have to use the Elite 32 for when I play with figures. Um, I'll probably do some poses though with them, some action shots. Um, the knee pads are white, and this is actually the variant, which I didn't know there was a variant until I got the figure. Um, Regularly, he has uh, longer knee pads, like the bigger, taller knee pads, but this one actually has the correct knee pads that he actually wore with his attire, the actual style. I didn't know that was a difference until I got it. I was like, that's weird. So I googled it and looked it up and found out this is actually a rare variant. Or I think the other one's a rare variant. I don't know. Either way, though. But my review of this figure, uh, definitely green light. Definitely get this figure. If you can find it, pick it up. It's such a great figure. I mean, I know it's going to sound a little silly, but I might buy another one. Just because I want for, I want one to display, and then I want one to play with. Um, and it's such a cool figure to me. I've always enjoyed this figure for some reason. I might make this one the display one, and then the other one I'd play with. Because, you know, this one's got the issue with its leg, which really really hurts um it, well i shouldn't say really hurts but you know it's it's a, it's a disappointment to say the least um but yeah these two figures are definitely green lights all right and then uh the third part is coming up and this one's going to be a hell of a lot longer because there's six figures all right i'll see you guys again in a little while